Hi guys, today I'm doing a bed sitter house tour. This is my friend's house and she's a super organized minimalist. As you enter through the door, there's a mirror and right next to it, there's a coach over here. To get such, I think you can just go to any carpenter with your design and they can make it for you. So there's a pillow here and we're having a throw blanket here. It's color blue, my favorite color. And this was gotten from Gikomba. I think if you're Kenyan and you're watching this, you know where Gikomba is. It's a place where there are very cheap things. These two pillows here were from Think Twice Thika. I think Think Twice is in most towns now, so you can never miss it. It has very wonderful things, and that's where they came from. Right above the coach there is a painting over here on the wall and it was a gift from an artist called Also I couldn't help but notice this beautiful design on the ceiling. I love detail and this is just so appealing to me. It's so beautiful and it's all around the house. To my right there is this kitchen area. All the things that I've shown you were on my left. There is a cute cabinet right here at the bottom where she has placed some utensils and also her gas. This is where she stores it so that whenever she's not using it so that it's not in the way. Here there is a shelf that has normal kitchen stuff like um, salt and sugar and drinking chocolate, tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. But there are these cute glasses that she has put some spices in. Uh, these glasses were from Kalula. Kalula is a place in Juja. Right when you enter that store it has been written x uk items expo and expo is really just an event or just something where things from another country for example i've seen a, an expo from egypt saudi arabia uk and then you find very nice items from those countries really and these expos happen from time to time in various counties so whenever you hear of one make sure you're there so up here there are just some plates and cups cute cups for tea and that's all that is in this section uh, here there's um, a container of sugar and some spoons um, yeah as you can see the shelf has been customized over here to her liking above here there's some glasses and plastic cups these glasses as beautiful as they are they're also from kalula that's x uk expo i was talking about up here they're just some more containers for flour like um rice ugali flour chapati flour and some oil and that's basically it let me drink some water yo i love drinking water i love hydrating like it's healthy man it's a habit that i'm really happy i i i i, I have Finding life along the way. Melodies we haven't played. 
Next, we have this stand over here that was made by a carpenter called Godi. There is a fake plant over here and it's really cute. It's really giving some good vibes. I love the green, I love the shininess and it is from Da Vista Flowers. Up there there's a padlock, down here there's this car thing, I don't know what to call it and it was a gift and it's so beautiful. Um, right here there is a candle that was it was bought at river road it's a fake candle actually right now it's really not working i think it's because there are no batteries but it was so nice there's a bottle here bought from the supermarket so let's go down there's a pretty ole or or sorry orange pillow this is from kamukunji and i think it's so cute Below here there's a set of books. The whole set is called the Macarios and they were written by Bishop Doug Heward Mills. Actually I've read almost all of them and every day I get blessed and more blessed because of these books. Below here is Mr. Teddy Bear. Say hi to the camera. He's also from the UK Expo in Kalula. And he's very cute. Below here, there's an iron box and this kinda golden, kinda bronze container. I think it's so beautiful. And it's also from Kalula, the UK Expo. And we just hold some thingies inside. We have a grey carpet over here and it feels so soft and smooth under my feet. I really love whatever was used to make it and it was bought in Gikomba again. Gikomba has <laughs> wonderful, wonderful things, trust me, at a very cheap price. This small flower, flower pot thing is from Da Vista Flowers. Da Vista Flowers are located at River Road and i think it's so beautiful flowers tend to make everything cute they make a big difference there's a table here and it was made by a carpenter called godi also there's a beautiful white chair over here and these have become quite common nowadays but it's so pretty so i love it there's a throw pillow over here this small white tv stand over here was also made by Godi, and i love how simple it is of course it was meant to be a tv stand but it's just used to for some few electrical appliances and right here there's a beautiful beautiful flower vase or is it vase <laughs> man pronunciation so this glass vase was from kalula the uk expo and these flowers are from da vista flowers and it's so so beautiful and simple Right up here, there's a TV, and next to the TV stand, there's this flower over here. So yeah, there's this small customized wooden thing that is used to hold the flower. It is made by a carpenter, of course. Then there's this, um, what do I call it? A carrier bag, a gunia, a gunia. This gunia was from Think Twice.
twice again in Thika and the flower of course by now you know they are from Da Vista flowers you can check them on Instagram also I love how green these leaves look they look so real they are so shiny they are so easy to maintain you just have to wipe them whenever there's a bit of dust and you don't have to go through the stress of watering them Right next to it, there's a white lamp that is also from Kalula, the UK Expo items. Yeah, of course. And it's white and beautiful. Down here, there's a small drawer where some few things are kept, some few notebooks. Down here, more things, more knickknacks. Let's get to the bed. So the wooden part of this bed has been painted white. If you've noticed, she has tried to maintain one color, like white, all the furniture is white, white, white. So also the bed is white and the, um, the bedding still kinda. So all these pillows, as I had said before, they are from Think Twice Thicker. I think a minimalist house is very easy to maintain because you only have things that you need. Yeah. Right above the bed, there is this other painting over here. Actually, I've never understood paintings, but they're beautiful, so I love them. Next to it, there's a big window that brings in light, light that brightens the whole room. So these beautiful curtains here, they are shiny gray. They were, um, they were made by a tailor. You can just go to any tailor. With your design in mind, of course, all of us, we have things that we prefer. So yeah, this is the view from here. This is actually the third floor. So things look very small. And we finally come to this corner so there's a small black table here and it holds um, her laptop and a mouse and there's a table mat there there's a keyboard over here and beneath the table there's the Wi-Fi thingy and the mat and uh, the Bluetooth speaker and some few more appliances that are hidden because yeah they are not very organized to look at so here there's a shoe rack that holds a few of her shoes she only has shoes that she needs your <laughs> minimalist as I had said before and here there's a big big suitcase that holds her clothes then there's a duvet over here it's white and cute and very warm Right above the suitcase, there's a mirror that she actually, hi guys, she actually painted herself because when it was bought, it had a brown wooden frame, but she painted it white to match with everything else in her house. And I think that's so creative. Up here, there is a Maasai shield that just adds some decorations to the otherwise boring wall. Yeah, the wall is like too white and it's too plain, so this just adds a touch of 
yeah, you know, you know. Now let's go to the bathroom. So there's this orangish door and the bathroom is so neat. So normal bathroom stuff, you know, you know. So up here, there's a shelf that was built in by um, the carpenter again. So here there's just some few stuff like spirit and some hairspray. Then over here, there's shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner and all that stuff some tissue over here and i really like how organized she is more oils and a jar full of her earrings down here there's more oils hair oils skin oils and then here there's a basket from kalula again and it's so cute it holds all her hair knickknacks and everything Yeah, and I don't know why I'm washing my hands here. <laughs> my relationship with water is so deep, you won't get it. I just, I love water. Sometimes, not always. And also, I think the corona pandemic just enforced some habits on us, like using sanitizer, washing our hands. We never used to do that before, this frequently. So yeah, this is the other wall of the bathroom. There's some soap, a shower curl, a tap, um, the sink, uh, and then there's a mirror right above the sink. Yeah, so that you just watch yourself while um, doing makeup and things like that. Hi guys, it's me again. There's a small window here and this beautiful flower pot flower is from Da Vista Flowers along River Road. And as I had said, flowers and plants really do make a big difference to your space. I think you should try that. There's a shower over here and a beautiful bulb. And I love everything. I think that's about it. I've showed you everything, every corner of this house. As I had said, I really like how the owner of this house is very organized and she's also a minimalist. Actually, organizing homes is her job. I'll leave the details on the screen. You don't have to go through the stress of looking for all these things. You can just call her and she'll advise you and design your space for you. Thank you for watching. Bye.